What's up guys? Toast again from Fish Yacker. I talk all the time about hair jigs. They're my favorite lure, especially for smallmouth bass, especially on flowing rivers like the Susquehanna, especially during winter time. In front of me, I have a handful of hair jigs hand tied by Matt at Wake Up Jigging. I'm just going to show you guys in the aquarium over here, why these are so deadly, why I like them, and the amazing action hair jigs will give you. <laughs> ah! Don't eat the lures. So guys, hair jigs come in a lot of different flavors, different styles, different materials. The ones here that Matt has are made on basic ball head jigs. And you can see Marabou, he's got a couple of feathers on there like I've talked before, uh, mimicking like a crawfish pattern with claws. But you can do these really simple. I've put some videos up myself where I just made them out of craft fur, a strip of craft fur. Uh, Basically, it's tied to a ball head jig. You can make these as fancy as you want to. They're guys like Matt, uh, some other guys who, Charles, some other guys that have sent lures to us too over the years, some hair jigs that we've tested out. I'll put some links down below in the description if you want to reach out to those guys. But uh, the ones I happen to have here are the most recent ones that were sent over to us from Matt. But I'm going to put this in the tank here and show you what this thing does. Uh, like I said, the materials, uh, you can use just about anything on it, but you want to get some type of fur, some type of hair that's actually going to flutter in that water. But this, typically, especially on the Susquehanna River, is going to mimic a crawfish or some type of bait fish. But during the winter, you only have that slightest bit of current, and this is going to flutter. So let's take a look at a couple of these in the tank over here and show you the type of action you can expect when you're throwing these, especially during the winter time. So guys, if you've never used a hair jig, you definitely got to try it out, especially if you have crawfish in your area, especially if you have smallmouth bass, if you like fishing a Ned Rig, silicone jigs, craws, tubes, Ned Rigs, all that stuff, you definitely got to check these out. Uh, you definitely got to try a hair jig. They work 12 months a year, as long as it's not frozen solid, you can use these. You can use them ice fishing, vertical jigging. You can use them as swim baits, you name it. Depending on the type that you actually use, depending on what it's made out of, you can get a very similar presentation to a Ned Rig even because you can get them with a material like most of the ones we've used here actually give you that upright floating format, uh, that presentation, just like a crawfish with his two claws extended up above him, they'll actually work its way up. Again, very similar to why a Ned Rig works so well. You can work them fast and you can work them super slow. If you got a little bit of current, it makes it get a little bit more flutter into the action of it. But these can be really deadly, especially here in the Susquehanna River. This, again, I use these all year round. You can use bigger profile ones, smaller profile ones. Go deep with them, you name it, shallow, but the smallmouth, 
heck, and most everything else will go after these. But uh, primarily, I'm using them for smallmouth. But again, I've caught just about everything on them, even muskies. But this is definitely an underappreciated lure. Everybody on the Susquehanna River, for the most part, knows about them. But these, you can fish them anywhere in the country, and they definitely work. And I like the the action of these probably a lot more, even in warmer water, than I do silicone jigs. And on top of that, you can tie them yourself. Really easy. Go to the local craft store, pick up some fur. You can buy them pre-made, like from Matt or one of the guys that's uh, helped us out here on Fish Yacker. But if you haven't yet, you definitely got to try these out. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to share the video on all your social media outlets. Give us that thumbs up. Subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel if you haven't yet. We hope to get on the water. Maybe Nick and I will get out again tomorrow. But if we do, you'll be the first ones to know how we did, if we get skunked or not. But uh, anywho, share the video, give us that thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.